As mentioned, the NFL draft gets underway tomorrow. A number of Boise State prospects will hear their names called by Commissioner Roger Goodell. But likely the first Bronco name announced will be Ezra Cleveland. Just over 24 hours before the first round, our sports director Jay Tust caught up with the talented offensive lineman. You obviously made a big decision to come out and test the NFL draft waters. It's been five months now since you decided to declare for the NFL draft. I mean, have you had reassurance that this was the right move for you? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest reassurance was the, the combine and how good my numbers were. You know, I went out there and did, did what I needed to do, and some of the drills I did wasn't, weren't even to my standard, and they were still, you know, some of the better numbers. So I think that's reassurance, if anything. You know, I know I'm ready in the football standpoint to take that next step and go compete at the, at the next level. What's the process been like meeting with NFL teams since you can't do it face to face? Normally you've probably been traveling all over the country over the last couple of months, but I'm assuming you've been pretty stationary. Yeah, so I came back to Boise after the combine to uh, kind of have a location to do the individual workouts and stuff with the teams here on uh, the Blue. And unfortunately everything got shut down, the NFL teams couldn't travel or I couldn't travel like you said. And it's kind of just been nothing but FaceTimes and stuff. Yeah. We've kind of just been doing football uh, intelligence and running through plays and stuff like that. No physical, like getting a stance or anything like mm -hmm. that. So I've been able to sit up in my roommate's room because he's, he's in California. Set up a little office in there, have my have my computer and stuff so I could you know, look professional during the FaceTime meetings. Because that's one thing that you really want to get across is that you're being professional and, you know, respectful of the people that you're talking to and treating it like you're seeing them in person. What teams have you been talking to? What teams have shown interest? So in uh, this whole FaceTime period, I've talked to numerous teams. The Browns have shown a lot of interest. Other teams have, like the Vikings and Jacksonville. Cleveland going to Cleveland? I mean, that, that could have a nice ring. Have you thought about that yet? <laughs> yeah, that that's honestly seems like the joke of the draft this year. <laughs> I, I could possibly go to Cleveland and everyone's like, oh, this jersey sales be through the roof. We can do shirts and everything. So you never know. It would be cool. Ezra, has it hit you yet that, I mean, you are days away from becoming an NFL football player? Uh, no, not yet. I was... I was actually talking to Adele a little bit ago, and I was because you know he went through all this stuff too. Yeah. He got drafted, and I was like, "What? What were you feeling when you got drafted?" Because you know I'm gonna be at my house around my family, and I'm gonna get a phone call just like he did. I asked him what his emotions were, and he said that he ended up crying a little bit and stuff. And I'm not <laughs> a big emotional guy, so we'll see what happens when it hits. But. I mean, I, you don't know, I might, I might cry. I'm definitely going to be excited. The first round of the NFL draft begins tomorrow. Is Ezra Cleveland worthy of a first round draft pick? Uh, I know that I am, but you know, it's up to, it's up to the teams and uh, you know, whoever selects the picks.